Okay. Okay. We're fucking live and shit. Yep. Check it out. The bit has returned. Yeah. We have new hats. Um. That's, uh, this is the bit. The bit is that I have a new hat every stream. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep that going until I forget about the bit. Yeah. Um, so, so this, this has probably got one more stream worth of longevity in it. Even though I've got, like, 15 fucking hats. <laughs> this is, um, this is not a bit that is going to last. Okay, hold up. Oh, thank God. Okay. For a second, I thought that my mic was muted. <laughs> it's not. Sick hats? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Cleo specifically requested her hat, and I obliged. <laughs> let, me, let me actually, well, if we have no audio on the Kirby, let me just change that real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow! We've got audio now, and I can Look. suck ya. Oh my there we go. god. Hello, Cleo. You've been watching a lot of SpongeBob. Yes. For um, nostalgia. <laughs> were you inspired by that um fuck, what's his name? I feel bad because I watch his videos sometimes. Um the guy who the the Irish guy. Oh yeah. LS Mark. Were you inspired mm -hmm. by that LS Mark video? Yes, he made me want to rewatch the um, first three seasons of SpongeBob. Yeah, I when I it, it's crazy to me. The um, I don't think that that LS Mark guy is that much younger than us. Ah, oh. oh, it already begins. It already we just started streaming and the cat is meowing. Little Blue wants in. And she will have her way. Get on in here, little blue. Yeah. Okay. So, um... What the fuck was I... Oh, I didn't even know you had, like, a... What the fuck? You have, like, a directional... Oh, my God. I was using the slide the whole time. And I didn't know about this, like, directional dodge. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm a fucking idiot. Um... So yeah, it's it's interesting that that LS Mark guy is not that much younger than us, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's way younger than us, but I I don't think he's that much younger than us. But um okay, so we're collecting lion guys fucking mm -hmm. soul. Okay. Um Oh, and by the way, let us know if the fucking game audio and shit mm -hmm. is a good level. Oh. Um I was going to say it was a little Hello. Uh, uh, wait a second. I don't even. Th there's no. Hold up. There's no game audio at all on, <laughs> on here. Give me a sec. Wait a second. Turn off the music. Forgot the music was still going. Oh, there's no fucking visual. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Here it is. Here's the fucking. We were already playing the game, and I had just forgot to put the game up. Holy shit! Streamer IQ is zero. I'm a moron. <laughs> Holy crap! Well, here's the game. Yeah, I know you guys are also here for my charming face, mm -hmm. but uh, this is a stream where we play video games. Mm -hmm. So you kind of need to see the game. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, everybody. Don't worry, it's just one of those days. Yeah. One yeah. of those days. Um, so yeah, so that, the LS Mark guy is not that much uh, younger than us. But I did think it was uh, really interesting watching that video where he watched... The, the video is... Uh, it's, I think it's pretty popular. I think it's popping off more than some of his other videos. Mm -hmm. But the video is that he watched every single Spongebob episode to date. And, uh, and he ranked them all or whatever. But uh, I did think it was interesting that like... I basically had not seen anything beyond season four. Mm -hmm. And even then, when he was talking about season four, I had only seen a handful of those. Mm -hmm. I had barely seen any of the season four episodes. Um, and, uh, and everything beyond that, 
imagine having an IQ. <laughs> um, imagine having an IQ and being a streamer, huh? Huh? Streamer brain. Jesus Christ. Um, what are you doing, Blue? Blue's on the desk. Um, invading our pers our private space, our personal space. That's the word. Blue. That's the phrase for it. Blue, please, we're, we're, we're driving. Blue, I'm gaming right now. Holy shit, you little fuck. <laughs> Blue, I am gaming! She just fucking knocked the flashlight over. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so no, I don't know. I just thought it was crazy that, um... Yes, Blue. That he had, like, nostalgia for these older, um, or for these, um, like, Spongebob episodes from season four onward. Let me, let me fucking make sure, hold up, let me make sure that I actually have my, I get really paranoid about this. Okay, I want to make sure my Discord settings are actually fucking correct, because I, I get worried about that, because I did have a stream where somebody hopped into my voice chat and uh fucking uh what was it uh uh and and i didn't have the right settings and so they were just like talking to a fucking brick wall blue being blue as usual yes yep. yes the little fucking monster but we love her mm -hmm. what what yes. now oh my god you want out we just let you in this is great, the, the joys of being a cat owner. Mm -hmm. Blue, what do you want? Oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm shrinking. What, what time? It's five. Oh. <laughs> not even dinner time. It's not dinner time for you. You still got an hour till dinner time. Be patient. Yeah. Child. Anyway. Um... What was it, uh... I thought it was cool that, um... Or interesting, rather, that, yeah, LS Mark had all this nostalgia for, like, season... Seasons, like, four through six, even, in, in, in a way. Where he was like, oh, I remember this one used to come on TV, like, all the time. And I was just like, oh my god. I was not... I was not watching Spongebob anymore. At this point. Um... The seasons one through three are still fucking gold um i think it really struck the the balance of uh what's it called um like even your parents wanted to watch it too yeah it struck that generational kind of balance that's one of the reasons why it's so successful early spongebob um late later spongebob does not have that yeah. It's later SpongeBob is very loud and obnoxious and kind mm -hmm. of like you know, very obviously a little kid cartoon. I realized uh what was it as I was watching the other episode uh, episodes, I liked Patrick a lot. Mm -hmm. But now like compared to recent Patrick, I don't like him at all anymore. Yeah. <laughs> He, he was like, um, just this guy, like, Spongebob's friend that, like, seemed to know everything, but not really, and always, like, comforted Spongebob, <laughs> but he ends up, like, in a way, like, gets into his own messes, because he's actually dumb. I mean, that's, that's just kind of how it goes with a lot of these shows, the yeah. flanderization. As they call it, flanderization. Yeah, you you don't know what that what, what, uh, about that term. Uh, surprisingly, I haven't. Well, I watched a little bit of The Simpsons, but like not enough to. So the 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 idea the the term is that the character um, Flanders, their neighbor, mm -hmm. was uh, in the early seasons. He was like. How do you put this? Like, he was, um, kind of a religious, re like a religious, uh, 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 goody-two-shoes, sort of? 
But that was like not the only thing about his character. Yeah. There was like so much else. There were there was there were they never they almost never really made that like the butt of the joke. Um, but then as as Simpsons went on, that's like the only that's like his only characterization now. Yeah. It's is just that one that that one trait. Everything got kind of gets boiled down to that. Mm -hmm. Um, and that just kind of happens with all long running shows. Um, you very much dislike the new seasons, Pixie. <laughs> yeah, they're um, they're pretty bad. Which I feel I feel bad because I know that there's a lot of really talented, good animators working on them. Uh, Adam Poloyan works on a lot of uh, modern SpongeBob, and. Uh, he does good stuff, but, uh, um, but I mean, I get, you know, there's only so much that you can fucking, you can only, you can only polish a turd so much. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, um, what the fuck was I going to say? Well, let, let's, let's go see what's up on this ladder. I don't know how I did this. I, do, I don't know either. What a thrill. Um, there we go. Yeah, I don't know, um... What the fuck was I saying about, uh, sp Spinchbob? Spinchbob. Oh, Spinchelbort. Uh, um, oh yeah, it, it really hit that demographic of, like, um, oh shit, that means... I forgot you can break the metal blocks with this. Hold mm -hmm. up there, metal blocks back there. Um, it really hit that demographic that I think, um... I don't know. I feel like a lot of cartoons, uh, not every cartoon needs to fucking do that, but when it, when it does, it's, it's really nice. Um, and not only that, but I, I did not know until I watched that fucking LS Mark video, I didn't know that Spongebob was, was a board driven show up until like two seasons ago. Oh, like, uh, storyboards? storyboards. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that. I, um... The, the the difference of course is that if you, if people are not too familiar with a lot of how like Western animation works is that typically Western animation um, is either either your show is board driven which means that um, that's fine who gives a shit uh, what was it uh, it means either that it's board driven which means that um, whoever is in charge of the episode makes the storyboards for the episode mm -hmm. um which is like uh they're, they're little like uh still images with descriptions that kind of explain how the structure of the story is going to go and how each shot is animated so whoever is in charge of the episode will um give a uh give their storyboards and then that is what's kind of like built around it. And then there's shows that are script driven, where uh, a script is written first. Shit, fuck. Um, okay, there you go. Uh, a script is written first, and then um, a lead storyboard artist is put in charge of storyboarding out that script into what will become the final animated product. Um, oh, dude, if you can, like, throw your spears in an arc, throw it at the thing. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. That's dope. Okay, um, anyway, uh, board-driven shows became really fucking popular to do, and kind of almost the standard in, um, uh... Oh, that's how I do it. Whoa, how did you do that? Hold up. Like, I, then I, uh, I hold B, and then I press A. Cool. <laughs> well, that, that's fucking dope. That's fun. <laughs> um, yeah, board-driven shows became really fucking popular after, uh, Adventure Time. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm not necessarily a purist when it comes to either or. Obviously, I said that I fucking love the first three seasons of Spongebob. Oh. Um. You do great shit with a board No, I hit the button, but it didn't do the thing. What a thrill. I'm gonna go open the door. Yeah, go get, go get Blue. She's me on with the fucking thing. 
So obviously, like, uh, I don't really have a problem with either or. But, um, I just thought it was interesting that a show that old, um, was board driven. I don't, I don't actually know how common it was in the industry, like, pre-adventure time. I was always under the impression that, um, that board driven shows kind of had a stigma about them, almost. Um, like, back in the day. Oh, okay, okay. Hold up. You hit that switch in front of you. I'm gonna hit this one, and then oh, and then I'll run to the middle one. Okay. Okay? You, uh, got, you gotta oh. jump off. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Yes! It. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of wonder how, um, how common board-driven shows were at the time. Because now they really are the norm. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're the norm in, in, um, like, adult, uh, comedies, or, like, adult, um... God you. damn it, Blue. God damn it, Blue, what are you doing? What did you knock over this time? God damn it. Stop knocking shit over. Fuck. That time it was me. <laughs> that time I knocked the thing over. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wonder how, um... I wonder how common that was. And I wonder, um... Fuck. Oh, yeah, I also wonder if, like, because I'm pretty sure that, um... Adult animation stuff, like, um... Like, I think, like, I know that, like, Rick and Morty, I think, is scripted, and, like... Um... King of the Hill was obviously scripted. I think that if you're, um, this is just my opinion, personally, I'm, and I'm not somebody who's involved in the fucking industry at all. I'm just an outsider looking in. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, take it with a big fat grain of salt. But I feel like, um, if you're trying to maintain, like, a, if you're trying to tell a, an interconnected, like, narrative, like a, um, what's the word for it? Uh, I, for, I forget the, like a serialized story that's like, <laughs> if you're trying to tell like a serialized story, then I feel like, uh, it benefits to maybe go the direction of a, uh, of, um, of scripting or at least maybe having um whoever is in charge of store of like boarding your um any episodes that have any kind of plot relevance to kind of have like a a presence sort of overlooking the project yeah have a production bible or something i don't know i think a lot about um like the um production bible stuff for uh king of the hill and um the venture brothers a lot mm -hmm. that um i really need to i need to pick up that venture brothers art book i've like flipped through it before in a bookstore but i need to actually buy it yeah like really bad because it's really cool but um what was it uh venture brothers had um all these and i mean spongebob had it too Spongebob had, like, a production Bible kind of thing that I think you can find some, um, screenshots of, like, on the internet. Like, they had a, they had a rule about, um, not making, like, insanely goofy, off-model faces super often. Like, you needed to use that sparingly. Um, I think the, the rule was, like, if there's, like, a picture of, like, a crazy, off-model-looking Spongebob... It said for every one of these, we need a hundred of these. And then it was like just a regular looking Spongebob. Um, and I feel like stuff like that is really useful. Um, I don't know, at least in, in, I don't know about it, how, how useful it is in terms of like the actual uh, what production aspect. Because again, I'm just a fucking, I'm just some dipshit. 
I'm, I'm just an outsider looking and I've never worked in animation in my life. But in terms of like, um, present, giving a, a, a giving a, a, a better, like, more unified project, I feel like you have less continuity problems and mm -hmm. fucking nightmares if you at either fuck look he just fucking yeeted me piece of shit um i think that it uh, that that you'll have a much more cohesive kind of uh story to tell if you either um have it scripted or just have some kind of have somebody um overlook the those kinds of things because i i could definitely um i didn't i haven't watched like too much of late adventure time um so i don't really know how well they handled that i felt like rebecca sugar was put in charge um and and there was some guy i forget his name i feel like rebecca sugar was put in charge of a lot of the like kind of plot relevant especially a lot of the stuff with like marceline and Ice King. She was put in charge of a lot of the plot relevant kind of episodes. And I felt like that was a pretty good move. That it's like, okay, well, at least if you have one, if you have one artist who's kind of in charge of all the, like, all the super, fuck shit, all the super plot relevant stuff, then, um, at least you have one, you have one con consistent creative direction that's not going to get, like, jumbled and mixed with other people's creative direction. Oh, look at that! One of the star things. Maybe now I can upgrade one of these fucking things. Um... But yeah, I don't know. That's that's just me, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of really fun stuff, by the way, in terms of, like, production bibles. Especially, um, the King of the Hill one. I think there's like a fuck ton of uh, documentation on that somewhere. Look at look into it. It's 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 really interesting because I think um oh fuck it's okay you died you fool oh god I need a oh god I need to spit this out and then I need to ah! still hit the button boys I still did it I will not compromise the bit um. What was it, uh, what the fuck was I saying about Mike Judge and the production bible thing? Oh, yeah! Some of the animators he worked with got a little bit pissed at him. Because, um, he had this weird insistence on, um, <laughs> on, uh, camera angles in King of the Hill being, like, realistic in terms of, like, as if it were, uh, you had to imagine as if you were, f like, filming a real live-action show, and there had to be, like, a theoretical place that the camera could go, um, for each shot in King of the Hill. And that really pissed off a lot of the animators, because they were like, even in a live-action sitcom, you would just have, like, a false ceiling! to, like, put a camera there. Like, there's never, like, four walls in, a, in the room of, like, a, a, a sitcom set. Like, if we're treating this like a live-action sitcom, but Mike Judge was just like, no compromise. You must tell me where the camera is in this shot. Or fuse. Um. I, I don't know. That's, it, it's debatable whether or not that you could say that's, like, uh, going a little bit overboard. But, uh, I don't know. Mike Judge, at least, he knows what he wanted, and uh, he damn sure let his crew know. So, I mean, and SpongeBob was full of stuff like that too. Yeah. Like the the off model faces and blah blah blah. There's like a bunch of little rules about like how to draw SpongeBob and like I don't know. I I, I think it's great to see that kind of stuff. Um. But yeah, you've been watching a lot of, um... You've been blasting through those. Are you still in season one? Yeah. Okay. Well, to be fair, those are, like, super long seasons, too. 
Yeah. There's like 50 fucking... There's like 55 episodes per season or some shit. Mm-hmm. Are they yeah. all on... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and some of them are short, you know, like yeah, seven the, minutes long. The, um... The, the reef blower one. Yeah. The reef blower one's only like six minutes or something. Mm-hmm. I think. Um... Yeah, uh, do you plan on watching the movie also? Yeah, I, I enjoyed the movie. Me too, I like the movie. Are they all on, um, are all three of the, the early seasons on uh, Amazon? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I know the DVDs are super cheap, so I might just yeah. get those. Um, but yeah, no, um, I, I'm pretty sure, like, the later seasons are fucking, like, locked behind Paramount. Mm -hmm. Plus, or whatever the fuck it's called, but, I mean, I don't know why you'd want that. I don't know why you'd want to yeah. see those. <laughs> I, personally, I would rather get the DVDs, because you never know, like, how long yeah. these shows are going to be on a streaming service. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, thankfully, House has been on Amazon Prime for a pretty long time. Mm-hmm. House is, like, my fucking comfort show. Mm-hmm. Like, junk food to me. Yeah. I watch it over and over again. Yeah. And it makes me feel good. It, it's so good. I really like House. Um, but, uh, it, yeah, it's, um, what's it called, uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Why, why are you being careful? You just respawn. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep thinking about that. I'm like, why are you playing it safe? Then I have no consequence. <laughs> you just finished House Pixie? Hell yeah. Oh. I think that even though, um, even though I feel like, what is it, season six finale? Is that the one mm -hmm. with the wedding? Yeah. Even though that probably would have been a better place to leave the series in terms of, like, the an actual finale... I still feel like those later seasons after it were, were pretty good mm -hmm. and were worth it, worth the while. House was a great show. Hell yeah, Cadmus. Mm -hmm. I fucking love House. It's so good. Even even the later seasons. Like, it, with, um, you know, with, uh, like, there's, there's a lot of shows that I like, but I'm also kind of like, you know, there's there's conditions to it. Like fucking Dexter, where I'm like, okay, season one's all right, season two's, um, kind of bad. Season three is 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 also all right, and then season four is amazing, and then you can stop. <laughs> <laughs> but like with House, I'm just like, no, it's even though like again, season six would have been a would have been a much better place to leave off. Um. I still think that those later seasons are pretty fucking good. Yeah. But yeah, House MD that that that's been on that's been on Amazon for a good while. Um, that hasn't gone away, but it was like flip flopping between Netflix and Hulu for like a couple of years, mm -hmm. and it was kind of a pain in the ass. And there was like a year long period. Um. Uh, there was... Oh, no, I want my hat! Give me my hat back! Yes. Okay. Um, there was, like, a year-long period where it just wasn't on any streaming services. And I was like, yeah, this sucks. So I, I have the Blu-rays. Mm -hmm. I, ha I own them all. Um. And, uh... Yeah, it's funny to think about, too, by the way. That was, like, uh... That was like some of the first stuff that we used to do together, Cleo. Mm hmm We used to watch House together on when it was on Netflix when we like first started dating. Yeah. We used to go on We do you remember we used to go on Skype? Mm-hmm. We used to go on Skype in the middle of the night and um queue up the house episode, the same house episode together at the same time. Yeah. And do like a <laughs> countdown. So that it would be like we were watching it together, even though we weren't in the same room. Yeah. Remember that. Fond memories. Mm-hmm. Um, there we go. Beat the fucking monkey. That sounds dirty. No! 
<laughs> no. I didn't mean that like that. I meant like <laughs> like I I beat that monkey. Like I choked it. Yeah. Like I choked all the calm out of that monkey. I mean. Yeah. You beat no, him. No. No. Wait. No. Oh, you're twisting my words. That's adorable. Thank you, Cadmus. Yeah, I you. think I think so too. I we had a good old time. Mm-hmm. Um watching house together on on fucking Skype. God, yeah. I don't miss Skype. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, Skype sucked. That was a fucking mess. I hope I don't have to get all of these. I think I don't have to. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't okay. think so. Ah, uh, who cares? We're all blown to hell. All right, let's um, let's go back to Wildly Town because I, I might have enough to upgrade the gun hmm. or the hammer. I don't know what I want to upgrade, but I use the gun a lot, so it might be better to upgrade the gun. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, I don't Whee! mind watching House over and over again. It's just, it's so good. Yeah, I uh, I have this fear in the back of my head that you're uh, you're going to uh, that you're you're gonna leave me, Cleo. Because no. I drove you nuts rewatching House over and over again. I'm I'm being facetious, but still. But I but I I legitimately do worry that like uh, I I've we have watched House in its entirety at least <laughs> like ten. No, it's got to be more than ten times. Yeah. At this point, at least like twenty times. Um. Whoa, noble ranger. I don't know, it's like, you know what's coming, and it's like, oh, this is my favorite part, this is where he does this and this and this. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see, isn't there like a way to heal like, or something? A lot of my favorite parts are like, uh, when, um, uh, House, like, fucks with, uh, oh, sorry, brain fart, um, Wilson. Oh, <laughs> I like that. It, I, I, it's like a way later season. I don't remember which it is. It's like season seven or something, I think. Yeah. But I like the one where House and Wilson have the bet to, mm -hmm. like, that, that, that they can keep a, a chicken in the hospital. Mm hmm. And, like, whoever gets, whoever's chicken gets caught first fucking <laughs> loses. Yeah. And, and you, like, I guess, sorry, spoilers, I guess. Because it's not even, like, established that that's a thing that's going on. Like, <laughs> that's, like, a B plot in the background. Mm hmm. And, uh, what was it? Uh, it's just, like, you just, you just eventually I infer that that's, like, the bet that's going on. Mm -hmm. But because it's just going on in the background, like, the rest of the episode is going on, and then, uh, you'll just see, like, a chicken in the background. <laughs> Yeah. And it'll be like, wait, what the fuck was that? And, and Wilson, I think w w Wilson goes, he, that bastard, he got the, the, the quietest of all the chicken breeds. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. House is good. I like it a lot. And then I also, <laughs> I, the, the, I recognize a lot of actors from mm -hmm. um, episodes of House. I'm like a... Um, Sometimes I feel like Mike Staklasa from Red Letter Media, but instead of encyclopedic knowledge of Star Trek, it's the fucking encyclopedic knowledge of House MD. Mm-hmm. Where, uh, I will be, like, watching a movie or something, and I'll be like, I remember that guy, he was in, like, season two, episode fucking third, <laughs> the, the, the 21 of House, I remember. The only guy I remember is Alfie. Is who? Oh, Alfie? Alfie. He was, um... He did that thing everybody liked. Probably. Yeah, he he um wrote the uh what was it he wrote? What that musical people like. I yeah. don't remember what it's called. I am Hamilton. So sorry. Hamilton, <laughs> yes. He wrote Hamilton. Yeah, the the guy who made Hamilton is in house. I feel old. Um <laughs> like, Why why does that make you feel old? I don't know, I'm trying to remember. Oh, what, what, what was that new thing that kids what like? What's that thing that the kids like? Harrington? Her <laughs> is it Harrington? 
Um, I've never seen Hamilton, but uh, I don't know. People apparently really like it. Yeah, I heard it was pretty cool. Yeah. I uh, also did the music for uh, Encanto. Oh, did he? Yeah. He's written. I think like, one of the one of the one of the songs. I think He's or written all a lot of the musicals. songs. I don't know. Uh oh, whose oh, battery is it? Two. <gasps> it's player mine. two. You're low on battery. Ha ha. Hold up, I have a charger cable. I've been using it for the night. <laughs> ha ha. Player two, you're at low on battery. Oh well, we can plug it in here. So oh. I can, like, reach. Oh, fuck, you're right. That's a better idea. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Lynn's written a lot of musicals, actually. What other ones? He did all the songs of Moana, too. Did he really? Oh. Okay. That's a movie I saw. I watched that one. I think one of my favorite ones is where, um... What was it? Maui, like, sings, uh... What was it? Um... You're welcome. I actually, I actually do like that song. The movie was all right to me, but um, yeah, I like that song. That was a good one. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't include the pig. He just like shows up <laughs> for one scene in the movie and then goes away. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say about Mo? Oh yeah, the um. I thought that I was gonna like the. I didn't even know that the Fly of the Concord, one of the, one of the guys from Fly of the Concord, like, I didn't even know he was like in it until I was watching the movie and I was like, that's the fucking dude from Fly of the Concord. I, I think it was Jermaine. I get mm -hmm. them mixed up. I apologize. I'm not the. I'm not a fucking Fly of the Concord super fan, but I do like them a lot. Um, but uh, oh shit. Whoops. I need. Oh, oh I can just get it from this guy. Give me. Give me your gun. Give it to me. Fuck. Oh, wait. God damn it. Wait, there was a guy up there. Oh, wait, he's oh, responding. There's another one. Get him. What? Right there. Oh, oh, right oh, there. oh, oh, oh. There we go. Um, if it were a rattlesnake, it would have bit you. Well, you said responding instead of responding. Responding. So I looked at chat. I was, I thought you were like, someone's responding. Sorry. I was like, oh, I was responding. What are this, they responding this to? This getting to us. What are they responding to? Um, what the fuck was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I didn't like his song very much in Moana, and I got sad because I really liked Fly of the Concord. Uh, so I was like, oh, I, I thought I was going to like that more. But, I mean, do people generally like Moana? Is that one, like, well-regarded? Oh, I like Moana. Okay. Well, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, like critically, like, in the grand scheme of things. I don't people, know. Because people really, really, really liked Encanto. Mm hmm That was, like, I've st I still haven't seen that movie, but that was, like, a thing that people just wouldn't shut up about on the internet. I, I liked it, but, um, I like turning red a little bit. Mm, I haven't seen that either. I want to Controversial see that. Controversial statement. <laughs> people, people like turning red, except mm -hmm. for that guy that said that 9/11 should have been acknowledged or whatever. Okay. <laughs> what did you not see that or whatever? No. I don't. Some YouTuber was like, it's like a big trending thing. It was like a meme everywhere. Some YouTuber was like, uh, uh, it was like, ah, oh, the turning red could have been better, but they, but they, they didn't acknowledge. Uh, that like 9/11 just happened around the time that this movie takes place, uh, or something. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Why? It. I don't it's know. about a it's I, about an Asian Cana uh, Canadian girl I, that you know moved into town. I know it, it's just it was like, funny. I don't know why I don't know why the fuck he said that, but everybody goofed on him, and then people. Uh, I saw a bunch of people like made. Uh, they like edited together that that sound clip of, of Zach from Oni Plays going, Lyle, they hit the fucking Pentagon! <laughs> and they put it over like the turning red panda. <laughs> and, I, and I lolled. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I watched the behind the scenes oh, thing, you know, like, um. Oh, what, do they also have that on Disney Plus or something? Mm hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Like, all, all, all of the uh, team that created the movie are uh, all women. Um, 
No. It's like, oh, that's cool. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Yeah, I still haven't seen that yet, but uh, I will eventually. Probably. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I I just uh. Old man yells at Cloud, but a lot of Disney stuff is just not like. Disney and Pixar stuff is just not, like, uh, piquing my interest anymore. Yeah, it's like hit or miss yeah. nowadays. And I don't like... even think it's just because I'm getting old, because I think a lot of the older stuff, you can watch at any age. It's Again, it's that Spongebob thing. It's that Spongebob thing of, uh, of, like, this is for any audience kind mm -hmm. of thing, you know? Um... And, uh, and so it's just disappointing to see that, uh, I don't know, a lot of the stuff just doesn't appeal to me anymore. Yeah. Um, and especially, I don't know, especially, like, because I see a lot of, I, I, I never, I don't really, um, oh, fuck, I should have, I should have grabbed that. Let me see if he responds. Um... Come on, I want to float above the uh, the water, you piece of shit. Walk back and see if you can come. Oh. oh, well. Alright, fine. I'll fucking swim. I can swim. float above the water. I'll fucking swim. Fuck see? you. Um, what the <laughs> fuck was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, uh... I, I feel like uh, I, I don't really give a lot of credence to the whole, like... Ah, this is for kids so it doesn't need to be good like you know you kind of always see that with like anything that's mm -hmm. like kids or all ages media there's always somebody that's just like this is yeah well it's a kids show so it's it doesn't matter that it's fucking awful like you're not allowed to criticize it it's a children's show it's a kids thing um I never really gave credence to that at all, but also, I do think it's really interesting that, like, I see that a lot when people say that they don't like, um, modern Disney or, or, uh, Pixar stuff. Oh no, I got flushed! Um. Do you remember the movie Flushed Away? I was about, that just I was about to make a Flushed Away joke. <laughs> um, whenever I see people, like, a lot of times when people say shit, like, like, what, what I was just saying about how I don't really care for a lot of modern Disney Pixar stuff. They're like, well, it's not for you. It's little kids media. But, like, dude, the I I saw, like, a, a bajillion, like, grown adults, like, older than me, telling me that Encanto is, like, the greatest thing ever. So, I don't, I don't really know if it is. Like, just for kids. If all these adults are fucking loving it. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, Seems like a weird dichotomy. Yeah, it has, a, it has a message in it that... I'm not even saying I dislike Encanto, because I haven't even seen it. I'm just saying that, uh, I see that a lot. I see people, like... That if, you, if, you, if you're an adult and you love Disney stuff, then it's like... Uh, oh yeah, you love it because it's great, And if, but if you're an adult and you don't like Disney stuff, then it's like, uh, well, you're, you're a fucking idiot because this isn't made for you. And it's like, what? Well, but I saw all these adults like it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's okay if you don't like it. I mean... No, this is the internet. No, you need to like everything that I like. Okay. No, that's not okay. <laughs> no. You need to like everything that I like. Well, what happened to treating each other no, as an individual? No, fuck you. <laughs> you thought that ever existed on Twitter.com? <laughs> fuck. I'm just flying the whole time. <laughs> oh shit, I should have gotten that. There was a mouthful over there. Oh. Oh, I can oh. rest. Okay, well, this, this, this mouthful... Existed just for me to get this mouthful. That's cool. Huh. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? 
Enough being cynical old people. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's talk about taxes. No, <laughs> not taxes. Um, fuck. Um, no. Well, so I'm, I'm a college student, so. Uh... Yeah, but. <laughs> wow, you're a college student and you're not getting a job during summer. You lazy piece of shit. Yeah. You worthless fucking troglodyte on society. How dare you. See, I said I was going to stop being a cynical old person. I'm sorry. Well, I work as hard. Like, I barely touch any video games when I, uh, study. No, I'm, yeah, I'm goofing on you. I'm goofing <laughs> on you. You deserve the break. Yeah. I'm goofing. Don't fucking, don't feel bad. Enjoy your vacations while you have them. Yeah, I know. I'm an adult. Please. Please fucking you know? enjoy them. Because I miss having summer vacations at school. Mm hmm. Miss it so much. Now I have to, like, save up my vacation days and shit. But it's fine because I make big boy money. So it's worth it, I think, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Can this swim? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question answered immediately. Make videos. Will, will this swim? <laughs> it's like. Will it swim? Good mouth of the morning. Will it taco? Now you're making me feel like an old person. What a <laughs> I was making a fucking will it blend reference, and you're talking about relevant topics like good mouth of the morning. <laughs> what the fuck? Have Have you also seen? Is it a good idea to microwave microwave this? No. No. There's okay. like a YouTube channel specifically for microwaving things. What you know what, maybe I have seen that. Oh, we got, we got pretty long into the... Uh, what a thrill for that one. We faced this tree again, but he's different. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I just immediately... I ran into the battlefield and I just immediately dropped my fucking thing. So, is this just, like, doing the levels again? I think it's just, like, a remix of the mechanics from those worlds. Oh, okay. I think it's kind of like, um... It's the same shit as the end of, uh... Um... What the fuck is it called? Uh... Mario Odyssey. Oh, okay. Same shit. After you beat Mario Odyssey, there's, like, a... Here's some similar concepts, but it's a little bit harder. Oh, okay. Um, so this is kind of like the hard gauntlet where, like, if you if you're like a two year old and and you, you don't want to like play a super hard game, then oh. the two year old can get to the like the oh okay the game ended technically part, mm -hmm. but then but then the four year old can do this. <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, I really wish that... Um, I don't mind, obviously, if if this, like, endgame Kirby thing isn't hard. Because Kirby's not about challenge. I mean, the whole fucking point of Kirby was to design an easy game. Um, I don't know how the fuck you do Oh, I guess maybe I'm supposed to jump over it. I didn't even try I to jump to over judge. it. Um, what was it, uh... Yeah, so the, the whole fucking point of Kirby was to make an easy game that was still fun. Mm -hmm. That 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 was, like, literally, that was, like, the prompt that Sakurai was given, more or less, when he designed the first Kirby game. And that's kind of what the franchise is still, um, supposed to be. Yeah. Um, but Mario Odyssey had some really great fucking in-depth mechanics that makes me kind of disappointed. That we never really got like a like a real, really fucking hard challenge gauntlet. Yeah, I haven't even finished Mario Odyssey yet. So. How far did you get? I think the last time I think I was like in, I I fought this centipede thing. Uh huh. In the oh, city. Oh, New Donk City. Yeah. Okay, so you got up to New Donk City. Yeah. Oh, oh, got a couple more. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think you have to get all of those. I think you just have to get most of them. Yeah. Thank God. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about, but. Hmm. I don't, even, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I wish that there was... I wish that they pushed those mechanics a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I kind of felt the same way about... Oh. <sighs> about, um... Undertale, also. Mm -hmm. In terms of, like, the non-genocide run. Because, like, the, um... In the genocide run, you do get... Undying the Undying and, um, mm -hmm. Sans do... Sans especially really pushes the limits of what you can do in, the, in that fucking game. Yeah. But, um... But, that, but that's kind of it. I wish there was more stuff like that because the mechanics in Undertale were pretty interesting. Yeah. So it would have been neat to actually see those mechanics really get, like, stretched out. Just gape those mechanics, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just gape them and, and, and keep them there and then put the funnel... Mm -hmm. Put the funnel in the gate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Real jab type shit, you know? Put the cum funnel in the, in the gate of those mechanics. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what's cool? Put the put the cum funnel in the sands. What? Did you know that in the Switch version they have an exclusive boss? Yes, I did know. Yeah, I I thought that was um like so unique with like using the Switch controls like as a mechanic to beat the boss. Yeah, I know. Uh, I wish more developers would do shit like that. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense that Toby Fox would be the. Be the, the fucking Toby Fox is like the only non fucking Nintendo developer I've seen that yeah. like really was like oh let's I don't know let's take advantage of the that that's the thing I actually liked about the Wii U what a by fear. the way is that every fucking developer uh not every developer but like the Wii U was so fucking weird and different with that with that stupid tablet thing yeah that so many developers were like. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm trying to... What a I did not compromise the bit. <laughs> um, so many developers were, um, constantly finding ways to, uh... Well, how do you open this? Motherfucker. Brute force. <laughs> oh. Wait, let me see. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, I might have to press the ladder button again. Here we go. I was gonna say I was gonna lend in it. <laughs> what a thrill! Did it? Did it? I did right it! Away. I did it! You can't say I didn't do it. Reed Cradle, it's good. Reed Cradle by Will White. We converted two more people in our Discord to Cradle, and they're enjoying it. The two books in so far. Cleo is uh, on book eleven. No, mm -hmm. ten. Sorry. Ten. Ten. Yeah, Reaper. Reaper. Yes. Good stuff. But some of the, some of it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say anything, but yeah. It was yeah. Like, I was staring at the wall. It like, could have been. Reaper's good. Dread God's good. I finished Dread God. That's the newest book. Good shit. Go read it. Mm -hmm. 12th book's gonna be the last book. And it makes me sad. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I think next I'll, um read his previous books um, uh house of the first one is house of blades i think yeah and um what the fuck are the other ones he did traveler's gate mm -hmm. one of those um some of the older some of um will white's older books oh uh, but um some of will white's older books he um for the audio book he narrated it himself and, um, he doesn't do a bad job or anything, but the guy who does the Cradle audiobooks, Travis Baldry, is, uh, really fucking good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, And I think he does his own books as well. 
Is he, is he a writer too? Yeah, he's oh, an author shit. as well. <laughs> so oh, it's like an author reading another author's That's cool. books. That's fucking cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, Will White um, used to read the audiobooks himself. Mm. But, um, uh, it not, isn't the same? No, it's not. I don't think it's as good. But he's ba he's getting Travis Baldry to like to to do all the audiobooks that Travis Baldry didn't do. Oh. Okay. So like now Travis Baldry's like going back and doing all the old ones. Cool. So uh yeah. So I would recommend any of the ones that have the Travis Baldry uh, in them or or that you wait yeah. for Travis Baldry to do that because it's fucking good. Mhm. Mm so good that we named our cat yeah, after so a character named our in the book. After a character in Cradle, a little bro. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, we highly fucking recommend that book series. It's mm -hmm. good shit. We're gonna be at some point. It's it. We're, I swear to God, we're we're working on it. But at some point, we are gonna be doing a, a book club style podcast mm -hmm. for all the Cradle books. Um, that's gonna be an organizational nightmare because I have so many people that want to be on the, so many of my friends want to be on the, on that podcast. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we don't want there to be like 500 people in the fucking Discord call. <laughs> because then that just, there's no productive discussion happens. So the, the plan right now is to like, have everybody, we're gonna do like a, um, what is it called? Uh, like a tiered voting poll? Mm hmm And have everybody kind of rank... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Have everybody... Have everybody... <laughs> I lived, bitch. Have everybody kind of rank their favorite cradle book. Mm -hmm. Favorite to least favorite. And then we'll try to get... We'll rotate the cast out to make sure that people get to... Get to be on their favorite cradle book. Pod. Um, I'm so, sure yeah. everybody loved eight. So is eight Underlord or is that uh, Winter Steel? I think Winter Steel. Okay, so it's Winter Steel, and then nine is um, Bloodline. Bloodline. Yeah, yeah. No, eight is Winter Steel. Yeah, Winter Steel is fucking Winter Steel's hot. Yeah. That's good. That's good shit. You like anime. It's like an anime in a book. Mm-hmm. Except it's not a light novel. Use your own mind as a TV. If, if you like genre fiction, mm -hmm. it's one of those. Um, Will White also calls it progression fantasy. Mm-hmm. Kind of what he calls it. Kind, kind of like DBZ, in a way? Or a little bit. A little bit. But the magic system is very much just, like, fully inspired by Jean Ja fiction. Mm. Again, I think I even said, like, if you... You have played Amazing Cultivation Simulator. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna see some familiar terms. <laughs> in Cradle. Um, I saw a really great, uh... Video essay. I think it was by Never Knows Best. Mm -hmm. Where he just like played a shit ton of um, Chinese indie games, mm -hmm. and uh, and yeah, he played Amazing Cultivation Simulator, and he was like, yeah. So I tried to ascend, and and I got like my and my you know um, and my uh, I like split my core, and I got my chi oh to my God. this level, and then I you what? know I ascended to gold level. But it was only a lower gold level, and I was like, "Ah!" Oh my god! I was like, "Wow, it's Cradle!" Cradle. Wow. It's like my anime. Oh fuck! What? A I definitely pressed what the button. A what a thrill! Don't fucking tell me that I compromised the bit because I did not. <laughs> All right, I never no. compromised the no, fucking bit. No, no, you didn't. Don't worry about I it. I never. 
No, I, he, he never. He I never. would never compromise the bit. It's always funny. Thought except I was that it's disagree. It, except that it's never funny. Because I never laugh. <laughs> um, yeah, he never laughs. I meant that I never laugh at the bit, not that I never laugh ever. What a thrill. <laughs> Jesus, woman. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me here. Wow, we've got enough pieces of Leon's soul. You know, I said that we were going to beat this tonight, and now I worry that I don't know if we will. Yeah. I don't know if we will, because we, we have a little bit less than an hour right now. Mm-hmm. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Um. <sighs> get away! Do they just go away after a while, or do I actually have to go around them? Because sometimes these guys just go away. No, they don't go away. Fuck you! Yeah. I guess we they blocked the way, so we have to yeah, go somewhere go else. Okay. Fuck. Um, I'm like really tired today. I'm sorry if I'm like super low energy. Fuck. This is super hot. Yeah, it is. I had the air conditioner on for like an hour and a half before we started streaming. And uh, when we turned it off, it was like 80 degrees in the room. Yeah. Fahrenheit, obviously, for you, you fuckers across the pond. You, you, you limeys. You Brits. And you fucking every other country okay. <laughs> on the entire planet. Because definitely we are in the right. Because we're the only ones who use this stupid measurement system. So that means we're right and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just we, we all had the same system. Yeah, look, sorry, okay? I fucking wish that we all used the metric system, alright? It, it, it does make, make it more makes, sense. It makes chemistry harder. Yes. Okay, the metric system does make more sense, alright? We're not fucking idiots in that regard. Alright, I just fucking Ooh. wish. That's a cool recolor. I like that recolor. But, uh, but I can't help it. I think in the fucking system that I have to use. Alright, I, I, I go to the store and it's not a- the, the, the size of 2 by 4s is not in fucking meters. Alright? The 2 by 4 I'm sorry. <laughs> Feels backwards here. Um, daylight savings time also. Yeah, daylight savings is fucking backwards. horse shit. I don't know, do any other countries have that? I don't know if they do. Um, but yeah, daylight savings time is fucking bullshit. Some states don't even fucking have it. I think what it was originally created is like for farmers or something and their crops. Yeah. I don't think we need that anymore. No, just fucking. Ah. It's like. Farmers, just get up earlier. God. I, I meant like everything's like, I think, automated now. Yeah. Like, they have like automated speak sprinklers. I, well, I don't know how farming works. But. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, we're not, we don't play- I'm not a farmer. Yeah, we, w once we play, uh, Farming Simulator, though, then we'll be fucking <laughs> experts. And then you fuckers, you farmers in the comments will never be able to tell us otherwise. We're gonna f play Farming Simulator and we'll be like, ah, I see. Uh, understood, Naru Hodo. And then I, and then I will know everything about farming. I will learn your secrets, farmers. You can't keep them from me! I gotta say, growing your own vegetables, uh, it does taste better. It does. It's nice. I like doing that, yeah. But also, um, in, um, in California, everything just fucking dies. Yeah. Your, your plant, all your crops just fucking die, so. Even... Even strawberries. Yes. 
they just wither and die. So, you know, that that's fun. Look forward to that. You know that a strawberry isn't a berry? Listen, I've had enough of your shit today. <laughs> a banana is a berry? I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough, woman. <laughs> I won't stand for this. You can't tell me the thing with a berry in its name is not a berry. What defines a berry then, huh, smartass? Huh? Scientists? I'm... No, what, what's the criteria for something to be a berry? Not who defines a berry, what defines it? Well, who I could something a berry? Google it. Yeah, you But we're even, fighting a boss you right now. No. You smart ass. <laughs> Tell me this, can your science explain why the sky cries out rain? That's what I fucking thought. Can your science explain why the, why the, uh, why the, why the gods flat earth, um, uh, why the sun sets on, on gods flat earth? Yeah. Oh, look, I'm trying, I'm trying here! Well, the earth is not exactly round, it's more like an oblong shape. Listen to this fucking conspiracy theorist <laughs> over here. It's not a perfect it, trying circle. Trying to tell us that the Earth is not round. Can you fucking believe this? It's not a perfect sphere. Can, can you fucking believe Alyssa <laughs> is a fucking flat earther? I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. It's a weird sphere. <laughs> no. I'm saying. You're a you're a you're a tr you're a uh, non-round earther. Oh my god, she. Shadow Ka Kage Bunch and... Oh shit. The attack is just like the same thing four times and I was like stupid enough to fall for it half the time. It's just not even thinking. I'm gonna die again. Oh fuck. I'll just... Die. Yeah well... You have the luxury of just dying. But I can't just die, alright? That's a game over. Yeah, hey, look at you fucking interrupting me. Is this okay. game to, meant ter to tear families apart? Yeah, what the fuck, Nintendo? I'm gonna sue. <laughs> Kirby ended my relationship. Kirby ended my marriage, and I want my money back. Miyamoto, give me my money. Miyamoto! Miyamoto, right now. I'm saying that like he's my like he's my son. <laughs> like I'm scolding my child. Miyamoto. I think I did better with the spikes than I did with the sword. Oh, okay. That let's try that. Okay. Let's uh, let's actually try this time, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's let's yeah. That, those were just warm ups, guys. I would never, I would never lose in a baby game. I'll use my expert gamer dust. All right. Still in cradle mode. <laughs> you think a pro gamer like me would uh, would lose in a video game? Come on. Use your head a little bit. Obviously, I was downloading framework. Fucking moron. Oh shit. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Hi, Colt K9. You're here to not do your job because you're on your phone. <laughs> what, they don't have moderator tools in the app? Can you believe this? That's okay. I pay <laughs> her all of nothing, and she refuses to do her job. I do wonder though, like, what the fuck, uh, what the fuck's the point of, like, the, the auto mod has, like, a spam filter or whatever, and it has not picked up 
both of the times that like spam entered my chat. Yeah. It's like if your spam filter cannot pick up like the fucking Buy free subs at this website. Buy five hundred Twitch subs and get these Twitch subs will suck your dick. Like if you can't pick that up, then like, what good are you as a fucking bot? Like. Yeah. Don't don't you know what? Don't robot? don't clip that when the robots overtake us. Twitch, when when the when our robot overlords oh, uh, overlord over us. Uh, I didn't mean it. It was a goof. I promise. I, pr I promise I was I was goofing. You know what kind of robots that scare me? Uh huh. The the anime uh, made ones. They terrify me. That scares you? Yes. Those make somebody very horny. You can only do some mod tools on the. Ah, it's fine. I'm, I'm I'm goofing on you. Well, it's like in the corner and it like turns itself on. Then you get a free blowjob. What are you complaining about? In the dark while you're sleeping. Yeah. What? You don't like getting your dick sucked? Jesus. <laughs> Cannot fucking win with you. <laughs> You're just arguing for the sake of arguing here. Yes, I'm, I'm devil's advocate. No, yeah, those are yeah, those are terrifying. I agree with you. Those are scary. <laughs> I'm not here to kink shame or anything. It's, it's fine. It's, yeah, it, it, it's fine. It's fine if you're into that, but it does. Not my thing. But they scare they they scare the ever loving shit out of me to the point where I I do have that thought where I'm like this this thing that scares the shit out of me makes somebody really horny. Somebody comes their pants just looking at this thing. Somebody has like a Pavlov dog response to seeing these like anime robot maids that makes them come their pants just from seeing it. You know? Oh, well, whatever that keep he keeps them from being normal. <laughs> you just made it sad. <laughs> I'm trying to goof on them. <laughs> I'm trying to give them a, if you can't laugh at yourself, can't laugh at nothing, and you're just giving them actual empathy. Stop that. Okay. Stop feeling sorry for these real human beings. They are. <clears throat> they are human beings. Um. Yeah, what? You, you, what you, are you trying to insinuate that uh, somebody should assume if you, if you get a horny to robot anime maids, you're not a human being? You're fucked up, Cleo. I can't believe you'd have to even distinguish that. How dare you? Put, putting words in my mouth. How dare you? <laughs> we didn't get Sorry, that. mommy and daddy are fighting right now. <laughs> so. Mommy and daddy are fighting. You wanna go? No. What happened to the sound? What 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 do you mean what happened to the sound? Oh. Never mind. It, um the the cord that goes into my headphones like got Slightly unplugged. Oh, uh, okay. I think I accidentally. Yeah, you something. unplugged your headphones and you go, What happened to the sound? <laughs> how dare you? No, how dare you, sir? How dare you insinuate that my stream setup is is not fucking perfect? How dare you, sir, oh. sir femboy? How dare you, fem, sir? <laughs> how fem you dare you? <laughs> How do you how do? How do you how do you how do? <laughs> That's my favorite like episode my of Spongebob. <laughs> Which one gets is that? to make the, a Krabby Patty cause like bubble bath was like Oh yeah. Like no, kinda pickle <laughs> kinda gaslighting Spongebob thinking that uh, he didn't put pickles in there. Yeah, bubble bath <laughs> is like the original gaslight girl boss. Yeah. <laughs> when you really think about it. There we go. Yeah. I didn't even know if you made a circle, it like made a fucking earthquake with this stupid thing. Oh. I didn't even know that. The game had to tell me that because I didn't know. It probably told me that earlier and I fucking ignored it like a dingus. Mm. Like a fucking dingus. Shit, fuck. These mole guys remind me of, uh,. The mole guy in Shovel Knight. Yeah. Why did I call him the mole guy? Every single character in Shovel Knight is something knight. Obviously, <laughs> his name is Mole Knight. 
But I was there, like, you know, there, there's the mole a, guy. There, there's a character in Okami called Molster. Molster? Yeah. He's the a gangster molster. mole. <laughs> I was thinking more like, yeah. The Molster. He's a little like, you're, you in my turf. Like, you don't know if I got that far in Okami, or was he early? I just forgot about him. Um, is he in the early he's game? fairly early, like before okay, the the the. Whoops. You know. Before the second chapter. Yeah. Okay. But he's a, like a side quest kind of thing. Okay, I, then I, pro I probably did. I yeah, probably do not really that. a spoiler though, but yeah, yeah it's like uh, ugh. you know, you wanted money from you and. Yisan is like, oh heck no. You're not extorting money from us. I've never actually beaten Okami, but I want to win these things. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's a long one if you're uh, if you take your time finding the collectibles and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I want to stream that game because that's probably gonna be take forever. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be like a hundred streams. Mm -hmm. Like it'll never end. And and yeah, I don't know, man. Um, not unless I speed run it. How fast do you think you could beat Okami? None of us are like actual speedrunners, by the way. But, um, but Cleo, legitimately, how fast do you, you think can you could... Well, you can speedrun it pretty fast, like if you collect all the beads like the in the first one run. Uh-huh. And then literally you can just like beat a boss in seconds, cause you know the, those beads they oh. give you infinite number of health and uh ink. Mm. So you can be beat him pretty quickly with that. That's good. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Probably pretty fast. Mm -hmm. However fast it takes to fucking just one-shot everything. Mm -hmm. I still think that would take a long time, though. Oh! Just for all the locations you have to go to and like, all the... Yeah. Shit ...that you gotta do. But, yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know if that's ever gonna be one we're gonna do on here, yeah. but... But I, I, I know this other VTuber that has done it, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, Koreji uh, Ali. Oh, Ali. Yeah, yeah. I love Ali. Yeah, she... she I, I don't know if she's done with that game yet, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You know, that's another thing, too. I don't watch a lot of, um, like, full VODs of VTubers. Mm-hmm. Watch a lot of clips and shit. I don't have time... Yeah. I don't have time to be sitting around watching full VODs. But unless it's like Joel. I'll watch, I'll watch full Joel VODs. Or Vinny. I like her Phasmophobia videos. Ollie? Yeah. Because she screams. I like her scream. She screams so fucking loud. I do, I do too. I like it. She screams really fucking loud though. Yeah. It, it like, it like go, it like blasts through my fucking headphones. <laughs> But it's a good screen. <laughs> Maybe I have to melt that somehow. Is there is there a fire guy? Fire, fire guy. Like if she is were there in a the fire guy. Here? If she were in the movie, it was like a good voice actor scream. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, fuck. Um. What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, oh maybe I have to just like charge. Oh, up the... we were talking about Okami, so oh, most fuck. likely we won't be doing that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Okay, I don't know. I, I, I... Is there like a fire enemy or something? Yeah, I don't know. That, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. That's what that's gotta be. I don't think you can break that with force. Oh, thank god, finally fucking help. Oh. Um... So come here! I'm trying to give you health, you fuck! You know, from far away, it, it looks like you're kissing me. I know, that's that's good. Yeah. That's because in the old Kirby games, he was kissing. Yeah. And I liked that. I what, thought it was really wrong? funny and weird. What's, what's wrong with a little pet? Yeah, what's wrong with kissing your homies goodnight? Yeah. I thought everybody did that. 
You give you give one kiss on the head, and then you give one kiss on the lips, and then you give one kiss on the other head. Mm-hmm. What a thrill. That, and you gotta do that every night. Doesn't everybody do that? Yeah. That almost flew by my head, but it just <laughs> came running back, and now what? I get it. What are you laughing at? This is serious. <laughs> Are you my girlfriend trying to Im insinuate you might have an issue with me kissing the tip of somebody else's dick? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Wait, I want that switch! I'm not one of those girlfriends that... <laughs> that, um... What yeah, was it? You don't, you don't get jealous when your boyfriend's out on, like, kissing the tip of other people's dicks. I get it. No. I mean, I trust you. As you do. I trust you. So. What a foolish mistake you've made. <laughs> Trusting me. <laughs> I mean, you, you've seen your other... Uh, you've seen... Look, I know. No. <laughs> I'm goofing on you. Your I did, friend's dicks. She's big... <laughs> so... <laughs> I haven't seen all of my friend's dicks. I've seen some of my friend's dicks. <laughs> Who, who hasn't? You're saying, yeah, you're saying that like I've seen all of their dicks. Like this is just a regular occurrence. <laughs> Fuck shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's how you know it's too funny. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> when I start joking. <laughs> when the when the when the joke fucking when the bit makes you uh, almost die. Die of laughter. That's how you know it was good so fucking hot in here. I'm so glad that, uh, I'm glad, because they, they, we have, we had D&D &D in like an, um, well, not even an hour at this point, like half an hour. We yeah. have D&D &D in like half an hour, and I'm, I'm glad that, uh, D&D &D is not a thing that, uh, because like when I record for the, for the podcast and stuff, I also have to have the air conditioner off. And it drives me mad. But, um, yeah. But, uh, at least for D&D, I can have the AC on. Doesn't fucking matter if there's background noise. Because it's fucking hot. Again, it was 80 degrees with the AC on for, like, on full blast. For, like, an hour and a half. Alright, that's... It's fucking hot. Can't imagine Nevada. God. Those poor people. The worst part is, like, I, I once had, uh, saw, like, somebody from the UK was, like, telling me like well at least you got you know you guys are used to the heat in in oh, california no, so not. so like it's not a problem for you guys like it is in the uk and i and i told her like because you know because we live in fucking the, the the we live in california we live in the fucking desert so i told her like also how cold it gets mm -hmm. where i'm like look dude sometimes you fucking sometimes you wake up and it's 50 degrees outside in the morning, like at like five in the morning, and then by like peak heat, it's like a hundred degrees. Like that just happens here in California, like regularly. And uh, yeah, so it's like I'm, I'm, you know, like I'm, I'm sure it sucks, like even harder. I'm not like trying to get into a contest of, of who has the like whose hot weather sucks more. Like I'm sure it sucks more for you guys because this is like for the in the UK. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, you know, they weren't expecting the heat, their infrastructure is not, like, they don't have air conditioning in a lot of places in the UK and stuff. Like, like at least I have AC. Like, I have the option to turn that on. Mm -hmm. Like, thank fucking God. Um, but a lot of places in the UK just fucking don't. Which, that sucks. So I'm not even trying to say that it, it sucks more here. Because it doesn't. I think it sucks more in the UK that it's hot. Like, I feel, I feel worse for you guys. But... At the same time, um, what was it, uh, doesn't mean it doesn't fucking suck here, <laughs> because it does, mm -hmm. and it's hot, and it sucks living in the desert, because it means that, like, it just goes from really hot to really cold, and then, it, and it almost never rains, and then when it does rain, it just doesn't stop raining. <laughs> I like the rain, it's like I salvation. I love the rain. 
I'm gonna be real. When I went to the UK and it was like gloomy and and overcast every day, I was like, this is heaven. This is heaven to me. I I would love that. I want that so bad. Mm -hmm. Um, I would love to live somewhere that it's just like overcast and rainy every day. That'd be awesome. I'm sick of the fucking heat. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of it. You can always put on a jacket, but you can't. There's only so much you can do about the heat. I I'm already in my underwear. All right. I don't think we we're, we're meant to live in the heat. I don't know. Like I'm, any I'm no, any human being. I'm no fucking paleontologist. I don't know. But I will say this: it sucks ass. Wow. God damn it. I hope he's the last of the mini bosses we're gonna fight here. Oh, Don't worry, I'll, I'll 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 take care of him. I have more health than you. Got him. There's, I think there's one more. Yep. But he's gotta be the last one. Oh, oh it's oh, the sweet cute health. one. You think he's cute? Yeah. You like how his Butt sticks out in that in his PJs. <laughs> well, it, that's my, it's even cuter. He stitched it himself. I know. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that facetiously. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's cute. You're and you're right. He did stitch it himself. That is even cuter to think he about. He has that skill. That's a good skill oh, to that's have. Nice. I wish I did. I can teach you. Do you know how to sew? Really? A little bit, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd appreciate but, that. But but enough to like sew holes and stuff. Yeah, that'd be that'd be dope. I think that's a good life skill to have. <laughs> I would love to teach my kids to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a useful thing. In case to know. the apocalypse comes. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I think that uh, I've talked about it on stream before, but I think that um, like really basic. Um, Really basic Photoshop skills and really basic um, video editing skills mm -hmm. are really useful in the modern age. Mm -hmm. I think it's really, really fucking useful to know how to use, like obvi the, the obvious stuff, like you know, knowing how to use um, w like Microsoft Office. Like mm -hmm. obviously that shit's gonna be useful, but I'm I'm talking more so like. <clears throat> Look, Photoshop came in handy so much on, like, school projects and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's really great to have just a rudimentary fucking understanding of did, the Photoshop. Did, did, didn't one of your friends said back in the day, like, before, like, uh, like, video was common, uh, like, I don't know who said it, said it but, like, like back in the day it wasn't common and you would like get extra credit if you know how to do videos oh yeah definitely i mean i mean that 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 was i definitely think that got me a lot of a's on like projects that were honestly genuinely kind of shitty mm -hmm. that because it was like a edited fucking video project and i knew how to use like uh uh, default <laughs> Adobe Premiere Explosion mm -hmm. number one. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> and I made it look like a fucking Aqua Teen episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think that gave me some brownie points. Yeah. Um. It's also come in handy at work, too. Mm hmm. To be able to just know, like. <sighs> basic video editing shit. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Almost had it. Um. As well as, like, um, I don't know, Photoshop stuff is really useful, too. Especially, like, yeah. um, everybody's got that problem where, like, downloading images off of, like, uh, wiki, wikia and, and stuff like that always gives you this stupid fucking WebP format mm -hmm. that you can't use. And there's ways to automatically do this, but it is neat that, like, I don't use Photoshop, I use GIMP, because I feel like Photoshop's a fucking rip-off. Uh, but that's like a whole separate conversation. Yeah. Um, 
But um, yeah, no, I um, yeah, I just I just, just throw that web m or web p. I throw that web p into fucking um, what's it called? Uh, GIMP, mm -hmm. and I just convert it to like a real picture. And it's easy. You just click like one button, just throw it in the GIMP, and just export as JPEG or export as PNG, whatever. And you're fucking good. Mm -hmm. God damn it! Give me my fucking cutter back. Thank you. I like his eyes. Mhm. Mm the crazy eyes. It's like the claw eyes. Yeah, like it is. The snake from um, Jungle Book. Mhm. Mm Oh, that's cool. I like it. <laughs> uh, me too. I wish that um, ju the Jungle Book world and Birth by Sleep uh, wasn't cut. Yeah. That would've been cool. Yeah, it was based on a book, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I yeah. know. It's like a lot more violent. Yeah. I like the cutter ability, like, I didn't, the, the, the charge thing for the cutter ability is that, like, you, mm -hmm. it, like, gets stronger when it comes back for the rebound. Yeah. I kind of like that, that's fun. What's he gonna do now? Why are you yawning? What are you, were you tired of me? You gave me yawn. Yeah? Huh? You tired, yeah. Your you yawns are contagious. Tired of me? You're gonna, you, uh, you're gonna leave me for a hot young thing, aren't you? No. Tired of me. Um, are you, you're, you're so tired of me that, um, far tire fun. I don't know, my brain doesn't work right now. Fuck. Um, oh, whoops, that's not the button. Most Disney movie major, uh, took major cuts from the media that they turned into movies. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fox and the Hound was a fucked up book! Yeah. <laughs> I've never read the original book for Fox and the Hound, I didn't know that. I know Little Mermaid was definitely more fucked up. Cinderella. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I I read up on the Little Mermaid, the original fairy tale for um, when we talked about Madoka, because mm -hmm. um, some of some stuff involving Sayaka is like loosely based on the. Um, that was a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, right? Uh, the I Little think. Mermaid. Yeah. 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 It was based on, like, the original Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. A lot of, like, stuff in terms of Sayaka's, like, motifs and Madoka. Um, I remember I, I, I looked up a lot of that stuff. Um, wasn't Hans Christian Andersen also the, um, the Snow Queen, right? Maybe, I'm not sure. I feel like that's true. I'll look that up later. Yeah. I don't know, it was some fucking German guy. <laughs> I don't know. I love, uh... I'm hoping they get around to reading those books by Jules Verne. Oh, yeah. Because I really enjoyed, uh... A Thousand Leagues Under... Or, like, Two Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah. Yeah. What are, what are, we, what are we all sitting around going, I don't know... A about that for huh we got Who, who's the internet that, who's that dead guy's name the dead guy no queen bunch of dead guys the names. snow queen is an original fairy tale by danish author hans christian anderson yeah there we go Snow queen was Hans christian anderson hmm. mystery debunked mystery solved oh. gang oh wow I wish that it was a real thing. <laughs> I bet that they have real gachapons of some of these yeah. cr cribby bosses. Um, no, I thought so, because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, because the... Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, anyway. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? 
uh, pressure. Uh, I need a thing to say. You want a Bluebeard movie? Give me my serial killer. Who the fuck's Bluebeard? What does that mean? What's a Bluebeard? Is he a pirate? He has a, pirates have beards. I like Blackbeard. I like Blackbeard in One Piece. Also, like, the real story, life Blackbeard. A real life rat Blackbeard is pretty cool. I like, uh, Steed Bonnet. He was a cool pirate. Well, because mm -hmm. he was, like, not really a pirate. But... Oh, that's a good topic. Let's talk about pirates. Talk about pirates? <laughs> it's a fairy tale? Bluebeard. Oh. I don't, I've never heard of Bluebeard. That's a mm. fairy tale I've never heard of. Is that another, like, Hans Christian Andersen one, or is that, like, somebody else? Oh, shit. You're dying. You're dying. The floor is poisoned. You're dying in the goop. Oh, God. I'm stop. dying in the grape jelly. S stop sitting in the grape jelly. Stop. Oh, the grape jelly is bubbling over. That's not good anymore. You can't eat that anymore. It's bubbling. It's, it's, it's blackberry currant. Um, yeah, what about fucking pirates, huh? Huh? Yeah. Does that sell for One Piece? Oh, uh, One Piece is cool, yeah. On the Grand Line. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. I can't believe I caught up. Does that sell for One Piece? It's really not that. Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm not trying to, like, minimize your thing, but. Like, I don't think it's that hard to catch up on One Piece. I think people overestimate it. Mm. Well, I mean, in terms of the anime, yes, it is that hard, but. Mm -hmm. A man married a woman and he is wealthy and handsome, only. Thing is he has blue eyes and blue hair naturally mm. oh, okay you say he's a serial killer what's the what's the moral of the story don't murder people I don't know you, that might be a hard sell mm. I don't know I think I think uh I think in today's climate, you, that that's a difficult sell. I don't know, I'm trying to like formulate a joke here. I'm fucking tired, all right, I'm tired! <laughs> uh, he leaves for a business trip and he tells his wife, you have the whole house except for the closet there, which I forbid you to enter and you shall face my anger and resentment. Oh, oh. I know this one. I know this one now. Isn't like, like the original concept of the Haunted Mansion was oh, like was that it? or something. I don't know. It was oh, like some know. pirate that that like married a wife but he said don't go into that room. No, oh, maybe it was kill the you. original inspiration. She breaks the rule after a day. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds a lot like the original concept. For the Haunted Mansion. For the Haunted Mansion. Oh. How long did it take you to catch up on One Piece? Was it like months? Probably yeah, I think there. it was a couple of months. Yeah. There were like some nights that, you know, I couldn't sleep. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. People treat it like it's, it's this daunting, impossible task that will take you years. I don't think so. It takes time, but I don't it doesn't take fucking long. Yeah. People treat it as like, people are like, oh my god, you're catching up on One Piece? Ha! <laughs> Alright, buddy, see ya in. 50 years. I think it's possible to, to, like, you know, for regular books, like a 500 page book, you can read it in a week. Yeah, if you really, really fucking put your nose to the grindstone, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's rotting bodies and a previous wife in there who all broke the rule. Oh, uh... fuck! Alright, so how do we turn that into a Disney movie? <laughs> um. Um. Okay, so the 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 closet the closet with the corpses is alive and it sings us it sings songs. <laughs> I'm spitballing here. Hold up. Let, okay, let's see. Um. Okay. Uh, she runs away and tells her older brothers that as Bluebeard is hunting for her, the brothers kill him. A killer. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, all right. So the closet with the dead bodies uh, sings a song um, written by um, 
um, Hamilton guy. And, um, um, and the, the closet's, um, uh, played by, uh, Tom Holland. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that would be Trying to think, who's, I was like, who's big right now? Who's big? Chris Hemsworth? No, no, Chris Hemsworth will be one of the brothers. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth will be one of the brothers. The brothers will also have songs. Um, and, uh, well, the, the brothers can't kill the, they can't kill the Bluebeard guy. They can't do that. It's gotta be like, uh, Bluebeard guy has to, there's gotta be some kind of contraption. Get it, put a set piece. Some kind of set piece. He'll fall into a contraption. He'll die of his own, uh, uh hubris somehow. We can't have, we can't have, uh, them actually like murder him. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, in Tarzan, like. Will... What doesn't Clayton like? Fucking doesn't he like fall into the noose? Yeah, he hangs himself. See, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. What and you see a, a silly little shadow of him being hung. Yeah, see that that's what I'm talking about. Like he can he can die, but he just can't. Well, I don't even know actually. As, it, he... as a kid, I remember that vividly. Um, and, uh, Bluebeard's, Bluebeard's, um, wife needs to be, uh, needs to be a girl boss. Mm hmm She needs to be strong and independent. Mm hmm And, um, oh, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, so the closet is not actually played by, um, um, Spider-Man boy. Spider-Man. The closet is going to be played by um, Zendaya lady. Zendaya? Sp Spider-Man, Spider-Man's girlfriend lady. Um, and, uh, and, and, um, girl boss, Bluebeard wife is gonna, um, they're gonna have like a, they're gonna go on a wacky journey to, to escape, uh, Bluebeard. And, uh... Oh, shit, I should walk, write this down. <laughs> There's a genius idea! Write this down, write Million this dollar, down. million dollar idea! Um, uh, uh, they're gonna go on a wacky journey, and then, um, in, in the version that's gonna come out in the U.S., what a thrill. they'll, uh, they'll fall in love, and they'll, there will be a gay kiss. But that, but it'll be really short and easy to remove from all the other regions. So that, uh, so that we can still maximize profits. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a good idea. Yeah. This is a really good idea. Um, wait, so, uh, hold up. Uh, Bluebeard was cursed to, to kill any of his lovers, well, any of his loved ones that betrayed him, and to break the curse, someone needed to obey his r rule and love him anyway, which never happened. Oh, that's fucked. Aw. We can't, we can't have the bad guy be sympathetic. That's bullshit. No, 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 He'll hang himself just like Clayton somehow. Mm -hmm. Big, big climax set piece. It'll, it'll be great. What a thrill. And, um, um, and what'll the, what'll, and the title, the title will be Out of the Closet. Bang. Wow. Hold up, I'm sorry. I, I just want you to see this. The bomb gets a floaty. Oh! That's fucking great. I like that. That's adorable. Disney, call me! Mm -hmm. Disney, call me. This is a billion dollar idea. You can attach whatever fucking dumbass celebrities you want. I'm just spitballing names. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth will be one of the brothers or something. Bluebeard will be... Uh, uh, Bluebeard will be like an old, older celebrity. That, that'll be the draw for the parents. Yeah. Uh, Bluebeard will be, um, uh, who's a safe older? Bluebeard will be, um, uh, Patrick Stewart. There you go. Yeah. Bluebeard will be Patrick Stewart. He'll fucking, he'll take any fucking role at this point. Um, Yeah. So, so yeah, so Disney, please call me. 
um, out of the closet. Um, you'll get a lot of brownie points. And, and uh, you know what? On the U.S. cover, on the U.S. movie poster, um, we could have the... Uh, we could have Bluebeard's wife and the closet kind of looking at each other a little bit seductively. But mm -hmm. we'll what, we'll edit that out of the Chinese uh, movie poster. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll still make our money back in China. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, Disney. I'm looking out for you. I'm this whole concept is very homophobe friendly. <laughs> I'm looking out for you, Disney. Don't worry. Um, what do you think? What do you think, Cole Cannon? What do you think of my Disney movie pitch? Yeah. I think that's a multi-million dollar idea? Uh, God damn it! I lost the fucking guns. Um, but yeah, I've heard of that fairy tale now that you fucking described it. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know it by name. I forgot that the guy had a blue beard. I didn't remember that, like, at all. Wait, hold up. Wait, is there a thing in here? Oh man, I'm wasting my fucking invincibility, but... There was no thing? God damn it! This is bullshit! I'm pissed! No, we wasted our invincibility! Oh well. For some reason, this reminds me. Do you remember the Haunted Mansion movie? With Wait, Eddie Murphy? Hold up. Okay, I said, make it Disney's first horror movie. Genius. Genius idea. Also, I saw the Haunted Mansion live at Eddie Murphy movie in theaters. Oh, oh cool. I saw it in theaters when I was a kid. And I don't remember a fucking thing about <laughs> it. I don't remember it. I don't remember anything about that movie. Um. I don't know. To me, that movie is so bad that it's good. <laughs> is it? I have. Oh, to me. Oh, fuck. I have it. Yeah. I own that movie. Or, what a thrill. It's probably because I like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Does he still do stuff? I know he was in that Dolomite movie. I don't... Maybe. I know, yeah, I know he was in, like, I, I Am Dolomite or whatever it was called. Um, I, I forget the name of the big actor who actually played Dolomite in those old movies, but yeah. I heard that was good. I think they're making another Haunted Mansion movie. Really? Yeah. Live action? Yeah. Really? So, we'll see. <laughs> I have zero faith in it. Yeah, me too. It's probably- it's probably gonna be- What a thrill! I think- Uh, Haunted- <laughs> Haunted Mansion Eddie Mur uh, Murphy movie is gonna be better than this movie. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll be good. But uh, I, I have no faith in it, though. Yeah. I'm not expecting it to be good. You know what else? If you, they, they showed the actor who's gonna play Yusuke in the live-action Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. I have no faith in that either. I'm not sure. No, I, that's just- that's gonna be bad. I don't- uh, I'm kind of over live-action anime movies now. When have they ever been good? Yeah. May maybe those first two Japanese Death Note movies. Maybe those, but also even those kind of like they're good for what they are, but I don't know. I just I, don't know. You can't replicate anything that's what a thrill. I don't believe you can replicate anything that's an animated in a live action movie. I think I don't think the concept itself should be dismissed. I think it can be possible. I just don't, I just don't see them like, I don't know. I, I, I think it can be done, but I, I don't have any faith in the people who are doing it. Yeah. And I think it can only be done with a select few anime. Mm -hmm. Not every anime can be, uh, can be fucking done in live action. Mm -hmm. But there's a couple. Like, um, I think Saint Young Men had, like, a live-action drama. What a thrill. That could be done. Okay. I could see that. I could see Saint Young Men done easily in live-action. I guess I lost Sulfie. 
It's like yeah, the I mean, soul's been sucked out of me. Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to boohoo the idea itself, but yeah. I definitely. I was also. I forgot to. I, I left this train of thought at half. Uh, half on the fucking tracks here. Uh -huh. But um, I feel like most uh, most adaptations of Death Note didn't really fucking get get the whole experience right. I feel like the what manga is your best bet about that. I just, I, listen, I'm not just copying what this guy thought, but, um, what the fuck's that guy's name? L.S. Mark. L.S. Mark did a video today, that it came out today, of, um, by the way, we're gonna stop the stream after this uh -huh. level. Um, L.S. Mark did a video today about, um, Death Note, and, like, how uh, a lot of adaptations kind of miss the point, especially the anime, that kind of like glorifies light, and it and it that kind of misses the fucking point. Um, pretty much everything. I, I don't think I found anything in that Alice Mark video like disagreeable. I kind of agreed with like everything he said, which is uh, uncommon. Um, not, not just for, like, Ellis Mark, I mean, just, like, for, a lot of times, you know, you, you gotta, you always kind of pick and choose. My opinions are not gonna line up 100% with content creators, like, or with anybody. Um, most of the time. Most of the time, there's gonna be a couple of places where I'll be like, ah, he was right about this thing, but I disagree on that thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, but that Ellis Mark video fucking hit the nail on the head on how I feel about Death Note. I fucking love Death Note, but I don't think any of the adaptations really, really do it any justice. Fuck! Whoops. Oh, there we go. That's why. That's why I died. Because when you jump off, if you just jump off the ledge, you die. I didn't. I didn't know that. This reminds me of Crash Bandy Man. This does remind me of Crash Bandy Man. I was about to say that. <laughs> I was about to say it exactly like that too. You. Now get pick out of my, my head. You pick up all my worthless mannerisms. Get out of my head. Um. Quit mind reading. Yeah, this reminds me of the shitty Firefly levels. <laughs> Those levels were not good. Mm. At least I don't fucking think so. Or at least, maybe I'm just saying that because I like, I always, um, 100% crash too. Mm -hmm. And, um, in order to 100% it, you have to, like, go backwards in those firefly levels mm -hmm. and going backwards in those firefly those le those firefly levels were like not designed for that and so it just it's just not fun oh shit whoops oh fuck ah i save you yeah oh what a i overlapped it with itself and oh. it stopped I was about to say, do you think they'd ever have the balls to, to ever do a, uh, like a, like an animated Disney kids movie, uh, as like a horror movie? Um, but I mean, wasn't that kind of what they were trying to go for with the Black Cauldron a little bit? Yeah. Wasn't that kind of supposed to be like a little spooky? Yeah, wasn't but that, like, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, it failed. <laughs> I haven't seen The Black Cauldron in a long time. I haven't seen that movie in like 15 years. Yeah. I... Was it bad or was it like actually bad? Um. I think it was good, but not great. Oh, okay. One of those. But I think not a lot of people liked it because yeah. I think I think it was like. Uh, I don't think Don Bluth was involved with that movie. Was he? I feel I don't know Don the Bluth, anime. Don the Bluth. animation feels like him. Yeah, Don Bluth used to be a Disney animator. Could be. And there him. was like a I don't there was like some troubled project that made him quit, and I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Oh my god! Look at how much easier this fucking boss fight is when I know that you can dodge roll. This is embarrassing. Um. What the fuck was I uh, gonna say? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that was him. Um, I do like Don Bluth 
as an animator. Yeah. I don't know if he's like, I don't know what he's like as a guy. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not trying to. Well, I, I saw what he looks like and uh, that angry, scare, that. So scary that <laughs> mix up my words, but he uh, has those piercing blue eyes. I was about to, when you said you know what you saw what he looked like, I was about to say, yeah, the uh, skeleton, the crypt keeper. <laughs> um, that's so. mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Don Bluth, I like your movies. One day I will also look like a crypt keeper. Oh, he has and a stare that he can And then I'll kill. make fun of myself. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I like Don Bluth movies, though, even though they are kind of hit or miss. Yeah. I, I like Secret of Nim. I fucking love Secret of Nim. Um, All Dogs Go to Heaven was, what, like, mm -hmm. one of my favorite movies as a kid. Yeah. Did he also do Balto? Or was that somebody else? I, I don't, I don't think he did. Okay. I think he did. I, I, I like Balto. A, yeah, I like Balto also. But I think that was a different studio. I don't think that was him. Isn't he like a Mormon or something? I don't know. He's like, um, I don't know too much about him. He's, uh, he's like Mitt Romney's cousin or something. What? I, thought, I think Mitt Romney's a Mormon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Something like that. Um, he's like one of those... He's cousins with some, like, Republican senator or something. Hmm. I, I think. I, f I get the two guys who ran against Obama mixed up. Yeah. I, f I forget their names. I feel like <laughs> one we, of those guys. we talked about this before. Yes. Okay. But, but yeah. Um... I don't know if he did wear back the dinosaur story. Because oh, it's okay. also my favorite one. I think that might be. I think that might have been him. I don't know. But I like Secret of Nim and I like All Dogs Go to Heaven. Mm -hmm. Those are fucking good movies. And yeah, I don't remember if Black Cauldron was the movie that, that fucking made him leave Disney. Yeah. But there was one of those. Oh, fuck. Where's my but fucking... I remember that movie being incredibly dark. Like, yeah. uh, what was his name? Ergy or something? I don't fucking remember. He tries to commit suicide into the cauldron. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, yeah, I don't remember a goddamn thing about that movie, I'm sorry. I really like the animation. Yeah, and I know that, like, a bunch of stuff was cut from that movie. That movie was, like, heavily altered mm -hmm. when it came out. I do not know if the original cut has or will ever see the light of day. I wish, I wish, it, I, like, in Japan when they used to have that, like, walkthrough... In the yeah, castle. Yeah, they used to have a walkthrough. Oh man, I wish it, I wish I were to experience Disney. that. I I wanted Shit to me. I wanted to see the horned uh, king animatronic. Fuck. It looked really impressive, like from what I seen in the videos. Yeah. You know, lost uh, lost attractions are always such a fucking heartbreak. You're just like, oh, I wanted to do that. Or maybe you did it, and you're like, I remember doing that. Yeah. Like the Back to the Future ride. I did and that And we as a did kid. The, the great movie ride once. We did do the great movie ride. That and then was that like, went away. That was like, uh, like a month before they demolished it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That ride was fucking dope. Yeah, I think I watched a video about it, and like with Wizard of Oz, they had some dispute about it, like, including more than one scene and I guess like they were forced to just make one or like have one scene in the ride instead of two yeah like like uh, I think it uh, what was it MGM Studios yeah MGM was the studio that had it was like oh, oh, okay you want another scene uh, give me more money and Disney's like ah never mind <laughs> All right, fuck. I thought we were gonna finish it this time. We didn't. Yeah. I failed you all. But fucking next time for sure. Look at how close we are. Uh -huh. There's like two levels left. We gotta finish it next time. It's gotta be next time. 
for Christ's sake. Oh my god, it's hot as balls in here. Yeah. I don't even know if anybody's still in chat. I don't even know if my mod is still in chat. But it's hot, and mm -hmm. I'm tired, and I gotta do D&D in fucking 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh... Yeah, goodbye. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of mm -hmm. here. Get the fuck... Get, go! Leave! God, get the... Go get fuck. some water. Get the fuck out of here. Drink some water. Take, take care, care of yourself. yourself. Yeah. Yeah, take take care of yourself. Be good to yourself, you stupid piece of shit. God. God, you are you are loved. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Fuck. Well, fair hug each. Fair oh, I thought, I well, thought you would just you. No, you thought that I'd stop the stream. The stream's still going. <laughs> We're still I could keep this going forever. I was yeah. going to say we'll bear hug each and every one of you. Fuck That's you, I'm not doing that. You. Get away from me. I'll bear hug you. I'm all sweaty and gross. Okay. <laughs> That's how- That's where we cut off with the live broadcast. Oh, no. Now we shall both show- uh, You fuck it. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, good. Oh. Poggers! Get a poggers and chat. Oh, I would Hot. love a lemonade right now. <laughs> lemonade. Bye.